Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how you can make a 12 volts to 220 volts AC inverter based on the zero voltage switching driver or rather known as a ZVS driver. The ZVS driver has been used extensively in induction heating DIY projects, but in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can modify it to make an inverter. So the circuit diagram for the project is as shown here. You'll need two power MOSFETs which can handle more than 30 amperes. The IRFP to 50 or to 60 will work just fine. The IRF that 44 can also work fine with about 12 volts DC. So the entire connections are as such. You need two inductors so as to eliminate a center tap on the primary winding. The inductance is 220 micro henries. So the gate bias resistors they are for 70 ohms and rated at least half a watt. The gate source distance resistors are 10 kilo ohms each. They are 12 volts zener diodes across the gate and source of each of the MOSFETs. So this ensures that in case you use more than 12 volts to power the inverter, the gate source voltage does not exceed 12 volts as it can damage most of the MOSFETs. You also need two high frequency switching diodes. The UF4004 can work just fine, or if you find the UF4007 or the FR107 they work fine just ensure that the diodes used are high frequency or the fast recovery type so the dissonant tank is made up of these three non-polarized capacitors ensure that the capacitance the total effective capacitance is about one microfarads on the primary side so that a large current can flow the dissonant inductor is the primary of the transformer which has a ratio of 1 to 10 and the transformer has a ferrite core to ensure that it can handle the high frequency switching without heating. So the way this works is that when powered on due to certain circuit differences and transistor differences, one of the transistors will conduct first, say Q1. When Q1 conducts, there will be a virtual ground here and so current will flow through L2 through the primary winding of the transformer and through the Q1. So once the primary winding current saturates, the transistor Q1 will turn off and Q2 will turn on. So this will, the process will repeat current will flow through L1 through the primary winding the other way through Q2 and to ground. Since the inductor and the three capacitors are connected in parallel, there will be an oscillation and the resonant frequency will be dependent on the value of the effective capacitance and the effective inductance. The resonant frequency formula is 1 or over 2 pi root LC. The voltage on the secondary side will be dependent on the transformation ratio. And since it's a resonant circuit, the uh, effective voltage across the primary winding will be about 27 volts, or basically it will be pi times the input voltage. And so, with a transformation ratio of about 10, it will guarantee about uh, 270 volts AC with no load. But if you connect a load, the voltage will drop and so it will be able to sufficiently output 220 volts AC. The power of the inverter will depend on the core of the transformer and the value of the capacitors, the effective capacitance of the primary winding. The larger the capacitance, the more the current will flow, but also the frequency will drop considerably. So on the second side, you have your high voltage AC. The project is in looks as shown. This is the input connection to the battery the transistors and the biasing circuit these are the parallel capacitors these are the two inductors and this is the connection to the primary of the ferrite transformer the green visualization looks as shown the output the input the power mosfets and the circuit the parallel capacitors inductors and basically that's it so thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and projects and don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified immediately when I upload new videos. I wish you a nice time and I'll see you in the next episode.